वेलकम टू फिस्मेटिक एजुकेशनल अकाडमी दिस इज ए कंटिन्यूशन क्लास ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू रिप्रजेंट द फॉलोइंग सिचुएशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन quadratic equation the first question is the area of rectangular plot is 528 meter square the length of the plot in meters is one more than twice its breadth we need to find out length and breadth of the plot solution solution let the breadth of the rectangular plot be x let the breadth of rectangular let the rectangular plot b x meters now since the length of plot is one more than twice its breadth according to the question the length length of the plot is one more one more than than twice its breadth twice its breadth therefore length length of the plot length of the plot is equal to twice more than length of the plot is equal to twice more than its breadth plus one time this is in meters meters now we know that according to the question again since again since area of the rectangular area of the rectangular plot is equal to 528 meter square it is given in the question it's given in the question so now that implies length into breadth is equal to 528 528 according to the question it's a, a rectangular plot length is x and uh, uh, breadth, the breadth of the rectangular plot is x and length of the plot is 2x plus 1 this is our rectangular plot ab 
CD is the rectangular plot. Now length into breadth is equal to 528. Now further simplifying, further simplifying, length is 2x plus 1 into x is equal to 528. Again further simplification, 2x square plus x minus 528 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation which is a quadratic equation hence the given problem situation is represented in the form of a quadratic equation hence hence the given problem given problem situation situation is represented represented in the form of in the form of quadratic equation in the form of quadratic equation this is question number one in question number two under exercise 4.1 now coming to question number two under main question two now the question the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306 we need to find out the integers now let us copy the question the product of two consecutive integers the product of two consecutive integers all the two integers is 306 we need to find out the integers we need to find out the integers paste here this is a question this is a question product of two consecutive positive integers is a 306 we need to find out the integers now solution now solution Let the two consecutive positive integers be let the let the two consecutive consecutive two consecutive positive integers integers b x and x plus 1 x and x plus 1 now we have given that the product of product of two consecutive integers is 
we have we have given we have given that the product of product of two consecutive consecutive positive integers integers is 303 this is according to the question now this we can represent in a form of a equation as x is a one uh, one integer and x plus 1 is a consecutive other integer then product is equal to 306 again we simplify it x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0 so which is a quadratic equation which is a required quadratic equation so we conclude that which is a quadratic equation we can conclude that it is a quadratic equation now coming to the question number 3 Rohan Mas mother is 26 years older than him the product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360 we will like to find out rohan's present age now let us copy this question so this is our question we copy this question and solve the question rohan's mother's here this is the question rohan's mother is 26 years older than him the product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360 we would like to find out rohan's present age so now come solution solution let the present age of rohan be x year let us assume let the present age of rohan rohan b x years this is the present let us assume since according to the question his mother is 26 years older than him since his mother since his mother is 26 years 26 years older than him this is what is given in the question number now so now is pronoun let us write rohan's mother's present age is mother is mother's present age equal to x plus 26 because 26 years older than rohan her mother is 26 years 
his mother is 26 years older than rohan now now rohan's age after 3 years rohan's age after 3 years rohan's age after 3 years is equal to now x is the present age plus 3 this is the rohan's age after 3 years and his mother age after 3 years this is condition 1 rohan age is after 3 years is the first condition the second condition his mother age is after 3 years is mother's age is after 3 years after 3 years that is equal to x plus 26 plus 3 that is x plus 29 years his mother's age after 3 years is x plus 29 years according to question according to question according to question we can write uh, the product of their ages 3 years from now will be 360 the product the product of, of their ages 3 years 3 years from now 3 years from now will be 360 this is what given in the question now according to the question and uh, considering all above parameters we can conclude that uh, we can write a equation x plus 3 and uh, multiplication of x plus 29 is equal to 360 360 that implies uh, x square plus 29x plus 3x plus 87 is equal to 360 uh, please subscribe for more solutions 360 that implies x square plus 32x plus 87 Minus 360 is equal to zero. So we have written the same equation once again. X square plus 32x minus 273 is equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation, which is a quadratic. equation hence the given problem situation is represented in the form of a quadratic equation hence the given given problem given problem situation given problem situation is represented 
in the form of form of quadratic equation this is question number 3 now question number 4 we'll copy question number 4 Question number four. So question number four is given like this: A train travels a distance. A train travels a distance of 480 meters kilometers. The train travels a distance of. 480 kilometers at a uniform speed if the speed had been 8 kilometers per hour less then it would be it would taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance we need to find the speed of the train to find speed of the train here meters we need to find out the speed of the train now solution solution so in the above question 480 meter that is meter is wrongly typed now it is 480 kilometer kilometer now train travels a distance is of 480 train train travels a distance train travel distance of 480 kilometers now let the uniform speed of the the train be x kilometers per hour let the uniform speed of the train of the train is the uniform speed of the train b x kilometers per hour x kilometers per hour now that means is the from point a to point b this is the two points train travels 480 kilometers uniform speed uniform speed so we know that uh, we know that time is equal to distance by speed time is equal to distance by speed therefore time taken taken to cover time taken time taken to cover distance 
distance of 480 kilometers is 480 by x hours or 480 by x hour. Again, second condition according to the question if the if the speed of if the speed had been if the speed had been 8 kilometers per hour less less therefore time required to cover to cover 480 kilometers is equal to 480 divided by or 480 upon x minus 8 or now according to the question now according to the question 480 by x minus 8 is equal to 480 by x plus 3 480 by x plus 3 please subscribe for more solutions and further simplifying 480 by x minus 8 minus 480 by x is equal to 3 that implies 480 into x minus 480 into x minus 8 this is with cross multiplication x into x minus 8 is equal to 3 again further simplifies 480 x minus 480 x plus 480 into 8 equal to 3 x x minus 8 3 x x minus 8 that implies 380 3840 that implies 3840 is equal to 3x square minus 24x that implies 3x square minus 24x minus 3840 is equal to 0. Again further simplification. Taking 3 as a common x square minus 8x minus 1280 is equal to 0. That implies x square minus 8x minus 1280 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation which is a quadratic equation 
which is the quadratic equation. Hence, the given problem. Hence, the given problem situation is represented in the form of quadratic equation. Hence, the given problem situation is represented in quadratic equation in quadratic equation that is question number 4 of sub question number 4 of the main question 2 under exercise 4.1 now coming to next exercise 4.2 exercise 4.2 Now we copy questions from exercise 4.2 So this is exercise 4.2 Find the roots of a quadratic equation. Find the roots of a quadratic equation by factorization. By factorization. Now, question number one. Question number one. Find the roots of the quadratic equation by factorization. So the sub question is 1. The sub question is 1. Sub question 1. That is x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 we have to find the roots of a quadratic equation by factorization now solution solution x, x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 is given. Now splitting the middle term as a splitting splitting the middle term middle term as a minus 5x plus 2x minus 5x plus 2x then the equation becomes x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 0 I can further simplify x into x minus 5 plus 2 into x minus 5 is equal to 0 that implies x plus 2 x minus 5 are the factors for quadratic a given quadratic equation then further simplifying either either x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 
zero. The expression that expressed to is equal to zero. That implies x is equal to five or x is equal to minus two. X is equal to minus two. Minus two. Now verification. Verification. Substituting this value in the given quadratic equation, let us check that five and minus five satisfies the given quadratic equation. Let us check. Let us check five or minus two satisfies given quadratic equation. Substituting the values five or values minus two. In the given quadratic equation, x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to zero. When x is equal to 5, that implies 5 square minus 3 into 5 minus 10 is equal to zero. That implies 25 minus 15 minus 10. Which is equal to zero. Zero is equal to zero. And similarly, x is equal to minus two. X is equal to minus two. That implies minus two square. Three into minus two minus ten is equal to zero. That implies four plus six minus ten is equal to zero. Therefore, zero is equal to zero. It satisfies the given quadratic equation. Therefore, x is equal to five. Therefore, therefore, x is equal to five, and x is equal to minus two are roots of given quadratic equation. Are Roots of given quadratic equation. Given quadratic equation. No question number two. Question number two. We'll copy the question number two. Question number two. This is question number one. Now coming to question number two. That is two x square plus six minus six is equal to zero. Question number two. Two x square plus x minus six is equal to Zero six is equal to zero is a given quadratic equation. Now solution. Now solution. Two x square plus x minus six is equal to zero. Splitting middle term. 
मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग मिडिल टर्म हैज 4x minus 3x plus 4x minus 3x therefore 2x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0 that implies 2x is equal to x plus 2 minus 3 x plus 2 is equal to 0 that implies 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 and x plus 2 are are equal roots of the quadratic equation now either now either 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. So that implies x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 3 by 2 x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 3 by 2 are the solutions for given quadratic roots for the given quadratic equation that is in x is x, uh, minus 2 and 3 by 2 are the roots of given quadratic equation now question number 3 question number 3 root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 so we write root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 now this given question according given question root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 splitting the middle term Splitting the middle term, middle term, seven x as plus five x plus two x plus five x plus two x that implies root two x square is plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 now taking x common so root 2x plus 5 plus root 2 common x root 2 x so otherwise we write like this otherwise we write like this that implies root 2 x square plus 5 x plus 2 we can write it as root 2 into root 2 x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 that implies 
एक से टेक कॉमन टेक एक से टेक कॉमन रूट टू एक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस रूट टू टू टेक कॉमन और रूट टू एक्स प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इंप्लाइज x plus root two and root two x plus five are roots of given quadratic polynomial. Are roots of given quadratic equation that is given quadratic equation that is x is equal to minus root 2 or x x is equal to minus 5 by root 2 x is equal to minus root 2 or x is equal to minus 5 by root 2 Are roots are roots of a quadratic equation? Please subscribe for more solutions. Please subscribe for more solutions. Next question. Next question. Question number four. Two x square minus x plus one by eight is equal to zero. Two x square. 2x square minus minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to the 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to zero. This is the next question. So if a solution, I can't use a question. 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0. That implies when you multiply the denominator 8 with the whole equation, 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. That implies 16x square minus 4x. Minus four x. So we are splitting the middle term equally. Is one is plus one is equal to zero. That implies four x. Four x minus one. Minus one. Four x minus one is equal to zero. That implies four x minus one. Into 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Either that implies either either x is equal to 1 by 4 or or x is equal to 1 by 4. So roots are repetitive. 
this roots is repetitive this roots is repetitive repetitive hence the roots are uh, ends 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 are roots for quadratic equation roots for quadratic equation now the next question question number 5 question number 5 100 x square minus 20 x plus 1 100 x square minus 20 x plus 1 is equal to 0 100 x square 21 is equal to 0 solution solution the given equadratic equation is uh, the given quadratic equation is a uh, hundred x square minus twenty x plus one is equal to zero splitting middle term. middle term hundred x square hundred x square minus ten x minus ten x is equal to minus ten x minus ten x plus one is equal to zero then further simplification 10x you take common this is 10x minus 1 then minus 1 you can take common 10x minus 1 is equal to 0 that is 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1 is equal to 0 either 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 x is equal to 1 by 10 or x is equal to 1 by 10 or equal roots for, for given quadratic equation given quadratic equation please subscribe and please continue follow for next solutions of same exercise and same chapter thank you